Hello and welcome to the Sausage Kerb podcast. My name's John and on this channel we try and cover mainly British Touring Car Championship racing or any other tin top news or anything on the support package to Toka. Um, basically I thought it would be a good idea to do a bit of a BTCC winter roundup so hopefully it does exactly what it says on the tin or on the tin top. And we just bring you all the news from the end of last season up until current affairs. So we're going to rattle through some driver and team kind of changes in news. And then we're probably going to go on to speak about other bits and bobs um, relating to the touring cars. So let's get going. So first of all, we've got Nick Halstead. Um, he has joined Bristol Street Motors with Accelerate, TradePriceCars.com for the 2023 season. So he is basically committed to a full season in the touring car, which will be his first time. Now, he did have a one-off outing at Croft in 2021, um, but now he's he's went in two-footed. He's jumped straight into a whole British Touring Car Championship. I'll read a little bit of this. Um, Despite being relative latecomer to racing, Halstead has gathered a wealth of experience on the track since his debut in 2017, which included winning the AM category in the Ginetta GP5 Challenge. In his second season, um, Halstead went on to become a regular on the BTCC support package in the Ginetta GP4 Super Cup, scoring 16 podiums, including five wins in his debut year alone, and then entered the British GP Championship in the GP4 Pro-Am class in 2020 ending the year as vice champion so he you know he's got a bit we've seen gt drivers come over to touring cars before and they've struggled so it'll be interesting to see how nick gets on um he, we know he's in a good car because they've just won the um drivers championship so what has he said down here he said when i raced for the team at croft last year i had a chance to see firsthand how good accelerate is and it has only got stronger since then. I believe it is the best team to help me get to where I want to be. And then Tom Ingram and Tom Chilton, I have two of the most experienced drivers on the grid to learn from. So we'll see how he gets on. So good luck to Nick. Um, next, we are going to chat about Sicily. Now, Sicily have been in this sport for quite a while now. Um, I cannot remember when was the first time they came into this sport. But they have decided... Um, it's a family run uh, team and they have decided that basically they've had enough now you know it's a full time a full time job and I think it's Adam's dad Russell who uh, founded the team and ran it uh, it's a family business basically and I think that basically they say it has given 110% towards running a British touring car team it's kind of took its toll you know and they've decided that Sicily is no more We'll have a little read here from the British Touring Car website. After 10 years as a front-running independent team in Britain's Premier Motorsport Series, Sicily Motorsport has today, on the 28th of November, announced that the 2022 Quick Fit British Touring Car Championship marks its final campaign as the team takes a new direction in motorsport for 2023. Team owner Russell Morgan has made the difficult decision to end the Lancashire-based family outfit uh, time in the British Touring Cars and instead focus on new challenges in historic motorsport. Now we've seen a couple of drivers do this, the families obviously um, motorsport and well car and historic classic car enthusiasts so Russell whose son Adam has been responsible for all but one of the squad's British Touring Car victories said it has been an incredible journey, it's been a very emotional decision for me to call time uh, on the team in its current form as Adam and I have raced as dad and lad since he was seven years old. I'm incredibly proud of what we've achieved at Sicily Motorsport. And initially from my garage at home and later having grown into a professional race team competing at the very highest level in the United Kingdom, now is the time for change. So Adam, who finished second in the 2022 Independence Championship, said uh, he's very happy. Um, yet he's sad at the same time. Um, and most of the team has been with us since the beginning of his career in 2010 we've definitely had many more ups and downs than downs and shared some amazing experiences together but the time has come for a change it's not the end though Sicily the Sicily name will live on in historic racing and he fully intends to continue competing at the highest level in UK motorsport so that did beg the question when everybody found this out they thought 
Sicily. They'd not long had the um, BMW uh, 3 Series. Um, I think they only had it for that season, did they? And then Morgan's obviously looking for a drive, so it did beg the question, where is Adam Morgan going to go? And the answer is... You guessed it, Adam Morgan joined WSR for the 2023 season. So that was on the 30th of November. So it didn't take long for them to break the news. We know in British Touring Car News, you either you hear a thousand rumours, it gets fettled down to maybe 500 rumours, and then you get one piece of news, which then gives away generally a chain of events afterwards. So he has joined WSR. So this is quite exciting, I think. I think they've got a bit of a lineup for next season, haven't they? Um, so Morgan will contest one of the squads BMW 330e M Sports making its manufacturer's constructor's debut with the outfit which this year claimed an unprecedented unprecedented seventh consecutive title in the category for the Bavarian marquee so it does, goes on to say a little bit about Adam Morgan if you don't know about him I'm sure you could figure it out go on the website and read a few bits about him he totally has won 11 races he scored 37 podiums one pole position and 13 fastest laps whilst at 34, he celebrated his 300 BTCC race last season, 2022. So I think he adds a lot to this this team. I mean, they're going to have some driver lineup for next season. They've got obviously Adam Morgan, um, Jake Hill, who pushed for the championship, and Mr. Uh, Reliable, Mr. Colin Turkington. So the next news was also um, to do with WSR, um, and that was basically the announcement that. MB Motorsport uh, team up with WSR again for the 20, 2023 season. So I think, you know, Jake's going to be strong. He, he did have it between his teeth at the end of last season. I think he feels he's a little bit, just a little bit short to, um, you know, to take the championship realistically. But he did make a really good go at it. Um, so he said that he's over the moon to get everything signed up, sealed. And so early looking ahead to the 2023 season season so he's got a bit of time to think about it. he's saying you know he's all set he's, he's comfortable with he's comfortable in his skin if you know what I mean he's he knows the car and then we saw what he could do last season so we'll see how he gets on but I think that was a pretty obvious one uh, Bobby Thompson he remains with Team Hard uh, Bobby Thompson you know he came back into the sport and you know he's he's won the Jack Sears trophy um, which we know is I think it's one of my favourite trophies and in motorsport, actually, the Jack Sears Trophy. And it looks like he'll be in the Cooper Leon again. Uh, unless something changes with the cars there. I'm not going to read through all that, but Bobby Thompson's back. Uh, we saw him in uh, stock car racing a few weeks ago, which was absolutely brilliant. We're probably going to do another video on that. That is on our TikToks, etc. So I will take this moment just to say we are in, on all socials. We're trying to grow. Um, we've got a TikTok channel. Um, we've got uh, socials obviously on Twitter, a little bit on Instagram, Facebook page and of course we're here on YouTube. So if you go on over to TikTok you will see the videos of um, Bobby Thompson picking up that uh, win in the Briska F1 Touring Car Invitation which was at uh, Skegness or Skeg Vegas or the Skeg way as people like to call it and that was brilliant fun that night. Um, so what's the next piece of news? The next piece of news is that Porsche has extended its Toka support deal until at least 2026. I think this is good news. I think a lot of people whinge and moan about the Porsche, the Porsches, but I think they add a bit of glamour to it. Um, you know, there is a bit of quality GT racing and, and speed. You know, these things are quick and they look amazing. And I think they sound better than they have before as well last year. So they're going to be with us until at least the end of 2026. Um, which is brilliant news, I think. Uh, what's Alan Gow said there? Alan Gow said, having already announced that the Porsche Sprint Challenge GB would be expanding its presence on the BTCC support bill in 2023, he's delighted to further cement its future and of the Porsche Carrera Cup GB as it celebrates its 20th anniversary. And we know that Mr. Gow's a bit of a um, Porsche champion, if you like. He likes to drive his Porsche round and show it off before every race as he checks the track. Um, but no, it's good news. I think it's good news for the series, considering we lost uh, Janetta, which I think was a big loss um, last season for next season, which is 2023. Um, finally, or almost finally, 
2023 BTCC, the TBL holders. So the TBL is obviously the, the license which you need to hold in order to race in the Toka Touring Cars or the British Touring Cars. Um, there has been 29 TBL secured by teams. I believe there was 30 available before. Um, there's possibly more, but there's been 29 that have been taken. So we'll just run through them. And as you can see, Accelerate Motorsport have four. Team Dynamics, two. I think they, they, there was a possibility of them loaning one last season. It never it never happened. Aidan Moffat Racing, who uh, has got two. Motorboast perform motor boast motor base performance limited. I've got four. Team Hard four. Speedworks Motorsport three. WSR four. Uh, Powermax Racing two. Um, BTC Racing three. And Cowboard Lane Motorsport one. So I believe there's only been a couple of little changes in there. I'd need to go back and actually have a good look because I've not done a lot of research into this. But you can see it for yourself that. Um, I believe the only change in there really is is that is it Speedworks having an additional car for next season um, and WSR having an additional car so there's four BMWs for WF, WSR potentially on the grid for next season so that's interesting um, another thing I was going to touch on but I've not got anything up here about him is Aidan Moffat we don't know 100% what he's doing next season um, he was seen posing on a Cupra Leon, I believe it was, because um, we do think that this is it's the end of the road for the Infinities. So we did see him posing on a Cupra Leon, um, which was liberated up and a new sponsor. So we'll see if that comes to fruition or if it's just a little bit of a game or a bit of a hint from uh, Aidan Moffat. Um, I was just going to talk about this because Dan... Dan Lloyd, um, everyone knows that he had a massive crash last year at Oakland Park. We were there, we saw it, it was a big hit. Um, and what he has is Dan has his own YouTube um, channel. And on his YouTube channel, he basically was allowed to... Um, he got access to the footage, on onboard footage to all of his incidents during... 2022 season so what he does is he's done a video recently where he shows himself yeah, you know he's had a few big scary offs he had one at um i think there's one at brands hatch uh paddock hill and then another one in the back at brands hatch maybe one at croft um anyway you can go on the videos and you can see him but he basically then wants to tell you all about his crash which he was basically a passenger in at uh, open park and um, which caused him in excess of a hundred grand's worth of damage, which for him was absolutely gigantic sum of money. Um, and he basically then has been allowed the footage back, which I think is quite rare, um, so that he could put it on his YouTube channel and explain. I mean, it's quite harrowing, actually. You hear everything. You hear him in pain um, and basically screaming out loud after the impact. Um, I think his plums get caught up in his safety belt and it's uh, it's a bit of a tight squeeze. But he's in a lot of pain and it's worth going and watching because you, it, may, it gives you a little bit of a newfound respect for what these guys and girls actually go through. Um, and probably the reason why they get a little bit shirty when the driving standards go a little bit dipped or, you know, they change a little bit. So it's well worth going over to his page. I'll put a link in the description of this video so people can just jump on that and have a look afterwards. Also, please don't forget to give our page a like. And please sub to the page. You know it's relatively new. We've, we're trying to build as much as we can. We we will be trying when we're not at a racetrack. We will be trying to do watch alongs, which we found they were quite good fun last year, where you could watch along. Um, you could be watching on your television at home while having us on your phone or tablet, and you could be commenting and giving your opinion while the race is on, which we found that quite good fun. And also, don't forget that our other page, which Rich. Big Rich usually is on is TSK F1. So this is just for all your F1 news only. Anything you can see all the videos here. Rich has done plenty of videos on there, doing really well. And he also from time to time will do a morning stream where he brings you all the live F1 news. So if you're into F1, crack on over there. Other than that, I think that's us um, until the next video. So have a great Christmas and a happy new year and we will be getting lots more content out next year so 
we will see you then. Cheers.